just didn't get the reaction that we were anticipating. When it comes to music, is Star Sailor still priority number one with all the things you are doing now? All, all the other things? Um, that's a difficult question. That's it's really up to the to everyone else in a way. It's like if opportunities present themselves for the band, then uh, great. Uh, but while the while the priority for the like least while the, the kind of the opportunities are there as as a solo artist, that I think that has to take precedence really. It's like so if your solo album would get picked up and really do something, yeah. then then you will pursue a solo career over returning to Star Um yeah I think I think for a a period of time mm -hmm. and see how uh, the first things first is really to record the solo album and tour it and see how it goes really and take it from there there isn't a it's not like that's it for Star Sailor for 10 years or something when did you first start thinking about making a solo record has it always been on your mind um it's when things started to go wrong <laughs> really just okay. let's looking around thinking this this isn't uh, what it was it was we're going backwards um, yeah. and it's, it was quite hard because it was still a great band and we'd worked really hard on the record and we were really proud of it. It just didn't get the reaction that we were anticipating, some great reviews and stuff, but it just the record label had no money to promote it and it just didn't really do anything. It's like. I'd rather put up, put my energies into some music, like for films and for uh, songwriting projects and solo projects, where more people are hearing it and enjoying it, and it's moving forward. It's like I'll do what, a little film, and then I'll, I've been offered bigger things, and it's something that's building rather than something that's falling apart. And how does this uh, hard rock thing fit into all that? Um, I've done a lot of uh, charitable gigs and performances for hard rock. We were in uh, India with Ocean Colour Scene um, and played hard rock call in a few times, I think, uh, for a few years now. And um, I've had a couple of songs on the Serve 4, Serve 3, the CDs you do for the hunger charities. Um, and they've just always looked after us, really, and gave us the opportunity to visit an amazing place like India. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's it's just easy to do because because everyone's really nice. That like, come and do a gig in Amsterdam, like, great. With Star <laughs> Center, you, you uh, already did some some charity things as well, I believe, yeah. for fair trade. Yeah. How, yeah. How, what did those sets look like? Were they also little acoustic? Um, we've done both. We've done full-on like charity gigs for Hard Rock as well with Star Sailor, um, and sometimes just acoustic performances. I guess uh, there's more demand for acoustic artists now because so many people can't afford the overheads to get the, a big band and crew and everything in. So you only need a guitar and exactly. your voice, and then yeah, it's yeah. okay. <laughs>